Welcome to this video about how to set up your ClassCraft account. I'm going to do two separate videos regarding student login for the first time and parents login in for the first time. So if you're looking for the parent login, I'm going to link it in the description below so you don't have to worry about searching all over to find it. This video is focusing on as a student, how do you set up your account for the first time? So you should have a handout that looks like this. Each person in the class got one. They have a student code, a class code, and a parent code, right? So we're not going to use the class code because you don't have an account. This is for people who have used ClassCraft in other places before. The parent code is obviously not for you. You are the student. So we're only looking at this first chunk of text. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I'm gonna to go to a split screen so that we can have this open and follow directions at the same time. So we're going to follow the very first step and we're going to go to game.classcraft.com slash student. All right, now that's going to take us to ClassCraft's website. It may take a minute to load up. It'll drop that icon while it's loading. So the easiest way to do this is to sign up with Google that would already use the Google accounts that we use to log into the Chromebooks at school. You can use Clever as well to sign up, but Google honestly is the easiest way to do it. So it's gonna ask for your student code. Each person got their own code. So you can't have Stickman Bob's code. You have to use your own code, all right? So I'm gonna drop Stickman Bob's code in here just so that we can get him ready to rock and roll. I click start and it's gonna prompt you to sign in with your Google account. So I'm gonna drag mine off screen so that you're not getting into mine. All right, so I've signed in with Google and it gives me this message. It wants to know, can it access your Google Classroom classes? We're gonna tell it allow. Um, Wiley does not really use Google Classroom, so that won't super matter in this situation. We use PowerSchool Learning instead, but we're still going to tell it allow so that it knows how to work with Google correctly. And it should bump us into the main screen. And again, this little mountains logo is it loading. All right, so we're now done with the sign in student code page. You need to give it to your parents so that they can sign in with the parent code, right? So I'm gonna make this full screen so it's easier to see. Using the information that your team was given in class, you need to decide what type of character you would like to be. Would you like to be a warrior, a mage, like a magician, or a healer? Now, each of the three have different bonuses. Each of the three have different qualities. Remember that the red are hit points, so that's your health bar, and the blue are AP or action points. So like the warrior has much more health than the other two, but it can do less actions than the others. So keep in mind a warrior is going to be higher on health points and lower on action points. A mage is going to be the opposite, lower on health points, but can do many more actions. And a healer is going to be more well balanced. Now, Stickman Bob, we're going to make him a healer. We want him to be pretty well balanced. You can choose any of the three, but keep in mind on your team, you must have at least one of each character type. So once you've selected your character type, you're going to hit next. And you're going to choose your look. Different character types can choose from different vibes. There's several varieties for my healers. But my mages, if I go in as a mage, there's only two choices, female or male, right? So just keep an eye out. And remember, your character does not have to look like you. So these are the warriors. There's several options there. Okay, they don't totally have to look like you. Stickman Bob doesn't even have a face. So we're just going to choose one for him. I know, that guy looks like he can take care of business. Okay, and so what it'll take you is you get to choose your first power for free. It doesn't cost you anything. After this point, you'll have to gain enough points to purchase a new skill. So when I'm looking at this, 
you're going to want to go through and read the options. So the first one is heal one for a healer, right? That makes sense. And so for heal one, you get at a cost of 15 action points, you can give a classmate 10 health points. That sounds like that's a good idea. I'm going to take that one because if I'm going to be a healer now, some are going to help yourself. Some are going to help other people. So like sainthood, this is opening and closing a window. That's an in real life thing. Whereas like heal one is in the game. So you're going to want to read them and, and make a smart choice here. Okay. It does not super matter. Any and all of them are useful, but you're going to be, you're going to have to work for a while before you can unlock others. So I'm going to just pick heal one for stick man, Bob, you know, so that he can help out other people. Okay. So when you're looking at your team, you're going to want to talk with your teammates to choose a crest or a logo that signifies you. Okay, so now maybe Stickman Bob and Stick Lady Bobette are going to sit down and talk about it. And I don't know, maybe they choose this one. This one looks kind of mysterious. Then it does give you alert to let your teacher know what you've chosen. That's because on my end, I need to change my thing so that it, my team logos match your team logos because we all want to look at the same thing. Okay, so make sure you tell me, and you can just tell me the number. Okay, so you can just say, like, Stickman Bob's team chose logo number nine or crest number nine. Okay, so we're going to hit next. All right, and now your team can choose a background. These change as the year goes on. It is currently winter time, so they are all winter themed, but that by no means sticks. So, like, Stickman Bob's team, maybe they like lighthouses. I don't know, or maybe they like the mountains. I don't know. I don't think a snowman's very scary. Yeah, we're going to check the lighthouse for my team. For Stickman Bob's team, excuse me. All right. So, congratulations. Stickman Bob now has a character. He looks like this. Okay. Now, by clicking, you are agreeing to student terms of services. Because we are responsible internet users, we're going to pop that open. Now, lucky for you, I have already read through these. Basically, it is saying that you can use classcraft but you have to use a username and password and you can't post things under somebody else's name you have to use your own name and you have to use your own account right now it gives a lot of information about legal things your warranties are what they say legally they're going to protect basically they're saying hey you're responsible for the consequences of what you do on here it's not Classcraft's fault if you go post your username and password somewhere else, right? It is also saying that it does not screen input to the website. That's because it's my job to make sure that we're using it responsibly, okay? Um, restrictions, it's saying that you can be kicked off if you are being fraudulent, so you're um, pretending to be something you're not, or abusive, or otherwise illegal activity. So we're not going to do anything illegal because we're good people, right? So that's mostly what this is boiling down to. So you're going to click start. Right now you are going to see it's going to tell you that you have won experience points just for logging in the first time. Okay, as you earn more experience points, it will let you change your equipment. As you can see in this animation here, it will let you get pets. It'll let you get power. So we're going to click start playing. Da -da -da. And so you'll see, we've got Stickman Bob here and see how I haven't fixed on my end the logo for Stickman Bob and his team. And so what'll happen is in theory, if I go over here to my other screen, that I should be able to fix it. Now, of course, it will take me a few minutes, but it's a quick and easy way to make sure that everybody is looking at the same thing, all right? Now, what will happen, and you'll notice this as we get into gameplay, is that when I do things on my screen, it typically pops up pretty quickly thereafter. All right, so Stickman Bob starts off with full health. He starts off with full action points, all right, and just a few experience points. So we're going to move into the rest of this, and I'll explain what all these buttons do in the next video. Thanks for watching.